What's up everybody, it's Apex Guardian, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download, install, uh, and register for Insanity Flip. So, first things first, you want to go to InsanityFlip.com, and that'll bring you to their website. From here, you're going to want to click Register. Once that's all loaded up, you can register using email, uh, password, the username here is not your character username, this will be your account username, don't share that with people. Also your password, don't share that, obviously. And then, and then there's just some recovery questions. Um, once you've done that, hit I am human, uh, capture will come up, then you have to complete. Acknowledge TOS privacy policy, and confirm you don't have a website account already. Once you've done that, um, you're going to want to hit downloads so in downloads there are three links this kind of confuses a few people there's direct google drive and mega upload mega upload and google drive are backup downloads just in case directs down and there's three just in case so you just want to hit download on direct it'll automatically start downloading this shouldn't take you too long it's only about two and a half gigs so it, it won't be too big of a problem and once again all the links will be in the description down below so uh, here you can also view the system requirements, uh, minimum as well as recommended, which is not a lot. It, it's a fairly old game, so you, sh you guys should be able to run it. Uh, from here, what we should do next is going to be to log in. So uh, I'm going to have to blur out all of this stuff, but once you're logged in, you want to go to manage game accounts. In Manage Game Accounts, you'll see this Create New Game Account, and you're gonna want to make a brand new account here. This this will be your second account. So, so the first one you made, uh, it, we're gonna be creating two today for the. Just it'll make your life way easier because you can have two characters going on at once, and you get huge bonuses from doing that. So, make yourself a second account. Once you've downloaded Insanity Flip, once it's completed, it'll go to wherever you uh, had it set to download. For me, that is my downloads folder. Uh, what I'm going to do, just to make it easier to find, I made this Insanity Flip folder on my desktop. And I'm just going to copy it over there. So it's out of my downloads. I know a lot of people's downloads get uh, crowded. There's, uh, there's all my friends, by the way. Um, so from here you'll get this Insanity Client 2021 Summer. This will be the most recent client they've released, and you're just gonna wanna double click that. Once you've double clicked it, you'll get this 7-zip self-extracting archive, and you're gonna wanna click where you want it to extract to. By default, it should be in the folder that the client, it, the client extraction is already in, so just hit Extract. And you'll get a window like this. It'll show it's, it's extracting. This is kind of in installation, essentially. And you notice there, it created a new client folder. All right, now that that is done, extracting here, we'll open up this folder. This is your Insanity client. Now, uh, it looks a little confusing from here. There's two patches, with these ones with the Insanity Flip logo. Uh, Fly for Insanity and Insanity MMORPG Patcher. The one you're going to want to use is the MMORPG Patcher. This one right here. So you just want to double click that. That'll pop up a window. Uh, and it'll start downloading the latest patch. So this is going to take a little bit of time. It's going to download and update a bunch of files. Because uh, this client that you just downloaded was from 2021 summer and now currently 2022 winter so um, you know it's been a few months it's been a lot of updates so th this will take a little bit of time so feel free to look up on the wiki look up on the forums do what you need to do to get yourself prepared another thing i should add is you have options here this controls some of the options for the game so resolution uh you can go 1910 20 by 1080 all the way down to 800 by 600 uh, depending on what you're doing how many clients you want stuff like that like I, ha I have a dedicated computer for collectors and that's doing that's running 10 clients at 800 by 600 because I 
don't need 1080p windows on there. Uh, however, for this computer, which I use to play, uh, I run them at 1080p. You also have your graphic settings. These can be changed in game. The resolution cannot. So, um, texture quality, I leave mine on high. Some of you might want them on near, low, uh, but uh, I leave mine on high. All right. So once that patch is done, just hit start and the game will load. It'll most likely load in full screen from the beginning. Uh, I'll show you how to change that in a minute. But what you're gonna wanna do is log in creating that first account you created. So I'll blur out my stuff, but uh, I'm creating a new character for the sake of this video and uh, this series. So. The server list is insane because there's only one server, but there is three channels or four channels in the server. People often call these the server. So server one is no PK RR market busy. So this is where the market is. This is the main world. This is where everyone plays. The PK server is a very dangerous place to go. There's not a lot of people on it, but if there are, they can kill you. So maybe avoid that one. People mostly hop onto that to see if a boss has spawned in, but we'll get into that later on. Uh, no PK event fun. This is usually where the events happen. Same with the event fun one, which is the third and fourth. However, people do play on these servers. It's a lot less laggy because there's a lot less people. Uh, and they are safe. There's no PK, which is player killing. Or I believe it's called player killing. Anyways, we're gonna hit server one and press OK. Now you get three characters per account, but I did mention make a second account because you can only have one of these characters on per account at a time. So with two accounts, you can have two characters on at a time, and this is gonna be hugely important. So we're gonna hit create, and here's where you can create your character name, uh, as well as decide if you're male or female your hairstyle. Uh, hair color can be changed in game, not at this menu. Face, there's a lot. There's uh, funny, scary, creepy, cool. I kind of like that one. And your bank pin. This is four numbers. And you'll be using this to log in. It's a two, two phase login system, so you need to pin as well as your password. Uh, as well as your in-game bank pin will be this as well. So uh, make sure you remember this. Now that we have created this character, we're gonna call it Apex Basics, just cause. Um, you'll see it here. It is currently a Strength 15, Stamina 15, Dexterity 15, and Intelligence 15. Now these stats that it shows are gonna be your base stats. So any gear you have that adds stats will not show up on here. So we can just hit Accept. And this is where you put in that pin you just made. Okay, so once you log in, you're gonna be greeted with a screen that looks somewhat like this. Um, so there's, there's a lot going on. So this notice will come up every time you log in, unless you turn it off, which is that way. And then there's this info pane down here. He has a whole bunch of useful information that you can read through if you want. Um, teaches you how to move, how to play. I'm gonna assume most of you know the basics of how to move around in this game. Uh, if not, your mouse, if you right click, you can move your camera around, as well as the arrow keys, WSAD walks, uh, in you know your standard video game fashion, spaces, jumping, and then you'll see here you have a bunch of hotkeys. This is called your hot bar, and in the top left corner, this is your character window right here. So uh, I'm not gonna go into all the hotkeys. Um, post a picture of that on here one of the GMs has taken everything and posted it so uh, what we're gonna want to do is you want to log on your second character as well so you can have both but to do that you're gonna need to be in window mode so if you open up you can do this from escape or in the bottom left corner there's that little menu icon it doesn't show up well on my screen but uh, you need to hit escape till it comes up or press that and then go down to options if this window mode is uh, not checked, you're going to want to check it and then re-log. So quit the game, close it completely, and then launch it again. That will launch you in window mode. 
uh, I'm going to turn on all my object details to high, as well as the item effect and BG and skill effect. This will show you the true colors of the game. A lot of people play with this off because it causes lag, but if your computer's good enough, go ahead and leave it on. Uh, that's kind of all you, you can do. You can turn off your pets if you need to. That's the baby hamster. Uh, others names, NPC names, that's a terrible idea. Don't turn that off. Uh, and then you have the game slash audio window. So this will be your background music, your sound effect, battle music, translucency if you want that on. I don't personally like it. Uh, as well as various other options. The beginner guide, you can turn that off. The info pang which was the little guy down there. Uh, and uh, all, all your viewing. So if you don't want people trading, you refuse that. Whisper, refuse. You can refuse all of this if you want. Uh, the only one people generally have on refuse is inventory view for various reasons. But, so we have our second character here. Uh, for the sake of ease, you can right click it, trade, uh, that brings up the trade option, add to my list, duel, invite to party, message, follow, view equipment, share, request mentor pupil bond. Uh, the mentor pupil bond cannot be done right now, that's a later game thing. Cheer is a time thing, I believe it's 20 minutes, you press O, it'll come up. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it does, no one for sure knows, but uh, yeah. Oh, it's 54 minutes, so one hour of play you get one cheer point. No one knows what that does, but it does something. Uh, so I'm just going to add them to my list. Now, they don't have to be male, female. Uh, insanity allows all genders but uh, to do whatever they want to do. But if you press O, you'll open up this motion thing. And you see this one with the heart. Or not with the heart. This one where he's kneeling down. This is propose. You're going to want to propose to your other character. And uh, just go to your other character and accept the friend request as well as the marriage. Now, if you press F, it'll show you your couple. This will level up very quickly, and this gives you three separate skills that will increase your damage, your drop rate, your health, basically everything. You'll get some stuff in the mail, some fashion, stuff like that, like a wedding set, a groom set, stuff like that. Something you're gonna wanna, wanna do, definitely, because these are, these are the three skills. And they're automatically on when both of you are logged on and in the same server. That's why, that's one of the big reasons you want to create characters. Another big reason is selecting which class you're going to play. Personally, uh, I recommend you create two from the start. So one's going to be your damage dealer and one's going to be your farmer. And the farmer is the one you're going to be playing the most for, for the first bit till you have some gear for your damage dealer. So as far as farmer goes, there's two main ones that everyone kind of plays. Uh, so there's the uh, Arcanist, which is pure magic, comes from the Magician. I'll post it up on the screen, as well as the Seraph. Now the Seraph is my personal favorite for beginning because it is its survivability is so much greater than Arcanist. It does less damage, but it it is really hard to die while farming. And then, as far as the damage dealer goes, you have the Ranger, or the Crack Shooter, the Harlequin, the Force Master, the Mentalist, the Slayer, the, and then uh, you have the Tank, which is a Templar, but I don't recommend that for any of your first characters, because they do not hit high without a lot of gear. Uh, same with the Blade, Blades, or the Slayer, Slayer, Blade, same thing. Uh, very expensive characters. Don't make that for your first character. Personally, I'm going to go with Crack Shooter. They're pretty cheap and they're pretty good. Uh, Harley Quinn is also good. Uh, I'm not sure about how cheap they are. Uh, the issue is there's not a whole lot of Harley Quinns because they most just recently got an AoE skill, so no one's really built them up. But they are cool. And then Force Masters, uh, kind of a mix between, like, uh, uh, kind of like a blade. They attack really fast. They're kind of expensive to build, but not as bad as a blade. So, for the sake of these guides, I'm going to be making a uh, Seraph and a Crack Shooter. But we'll be, and uh, once you guys decide that, you can look up your characters online, see which ones you want to play. 
uh, and we'll start that next time and I'll show you how to level up to 300 very quickly simple um, and, uh, and we'll get into some of that and then uh, we'll go into farming how to get good gear uh, how to farm for your gear your inventory as well will look a little different than mine I've customized mine a bit if enough people want I'll do a video on how to do that but uh, we'll get into this uh, next time so hope this helped peace